So you can see it's, it's slowly, slowly climbing up. So, oops. So I have noticed a problem with the uh, the current design of the circuit board. Um, so I, I have the two um, the two different regulators here for 3.3 volts. So I have this regulator here and this regulator here. Uh, the one on this side of the board is meant for the GPS, and the one on this side of the board is dedicated to the SD card. I, I did them separate so that um, the SD card would have its own power supply because it does use quite a bit of current, and if the SD card is switching, I don't want to create noise for the GPS. Um, so both of these is two isolated circuits that are they're, they're the same circuit. They're they're both um, they're they both use a, a couple of, of dedicated capacitors and and uh, such things. Ba basically, there's a pin on this regulator. It's a five uh, pin regulator. One of the pins is. Uh, for decoupling, basically, it uh, it it, de it uh, reduces the noise that uh, the regulator allows to be on that rail. And when I when I put together the uh, when I, when I put together the the schematic for this, um, I just kind of assigned that uh, the capacitor on that pin to be somewhat of an arbitrary number. For whatever reason, I never decided to come back and look at that. Now, the, the data sheet recommends doing uh, 470 uh, picofarads of capacitance. Um, I gave it a 4.7 microfarad capacitor. Um, so I can show you here what the, what the result of that is, what it does uh, with, with that kind of capacitance. Basically, though I, I, I don't know 100% how it works, but from what I understand, it... Uh, has like an internal filter that uh, decides what the output voltage is going to be. So if you have a capacitance there, it uh, slows down um, any changes to the output. So the end result of that is for the uh, for the actual uh, voltage rail to come up to 3.3 volts, if, if you have that kind of capacitance, it actually takes about 10 or 15 seconds to actually get up to voltage. Um, so I, I can show that here. I took off uh, the capacitor for the SD card one, um, but it's still on there for the one for the GPS. So I can demonstrate that. So you can see we're at uh, zero volts right now. If I power on the board. So you can see it's, it's slowly, slowly climbing up. We're not even at three volts yet, and it's already been on for a couple seconds. So. Um, for a lot of cases, that's not really a big deal. For my case, I suspect that the SD cards are actually a little bit finicky with voltages that take a long time to rise up. Um, in, in my testing, that, that was something that was a problem. So, uh, that's not going to be acceptable for my case. Um, so, oops. Uh, so what I've done with the, um, with the capacitor... On the on the other one, I've I've just removed the capacitor, and it, it does more so what you would expect. It turns on basically instantly. Um, so I'm gonna try uh, putting in a capacitor that's uh, 0.1 microfarads, which is still extremely high compared to what they want. I don't have one that small, um, and if that uh, doesn't work, uh, you they they do say in the data sheet you can run without that capacitor. Um, so I think what I'll try, I'll try using the GPS with the 0.1 microfarad in place. Um, hopefully it can power on when it, uh, powers up that slowly. Um, if not, I'll just have to run with both of them not being powered. I, I do have pretty beefy 100 microfarad capacitors on both voltage rails, so I'm not really worried about noise. Um, it's not really going to be a big deal, but it, it is something to, <laughs> to consider, um, if I if I can make it work, especially for the GPS, because the GPS is going to be a noise critical part to get a really good um, get a really good accuracy, it needs to have low noise. Um, so I, I'm I'm going to see if I can make it work for that one. Uh, but for the SD card, I don't I don't think I'm going to include the capacitor at all because I need it to turn on with the rest of the power supply. Anyway. <laughs>